summary things that she can do her email from there. Uh, from there. Well, no. But, uh,
tail feathers turn white at about the age of five. That signifies that they're adults, and once they reach this size, this weight, uh, they participate in courting. Look at it, look at this one up hot, just checking out what the other one's doing. This is a mated pair, and once they mate, they mate for life. They return to the same nest year after year. Look at the size of those talons. You don't get to see those a whole bunch. That's this is the best look. This is the best look I've seen of their talons. Raptor birds is the females stand about two thirds taller, so that's how you can tell the difference between the males and the females. Is that them making that sound? level. They place uh, deceased shamans and medicine people, gurus, uh, up in the tops of these trees here in cedar crates. And they thought this would turn their spirits back to the forest is what would happen to the DNA of a black bear or something like that. California sea lions have about four. These gray whales that we're going to go see have eight. Uh, this is a true seal. Pinnipeds mean fin footed or feather footed. And uh, stellar sea lions, which are a pinniped, are said to be descendants of or relatives of black bears because they have five bones and five claws because of their vocalization, because of their love of salmon, um, as well.
There he is. Don't worry, we'll get that National Geographic shiny. <laughs> Fully grown, they get up to about 15 meters long. They only about one ton per foot. Seven meters round. How are you making out in the stern? Fumage? You want to trade spots with them then? Dots that you see on the whale are like a fingerprint. They're not. What these whales are eating are things like mice, tube worms, sand fleas, ghost shrimp, soft shell clams, and everything that they eat grows from zoo and phytoplankton. So if you affect too much of the land base, then it's also going to have an effect on what's growing in the aqua base as well. It's probably a little shallower. How often do they bring the tail out? Um, it depends if they have enough water to do it or not. It could be taller than it is deep. If they have enough water, they might do it every time they sound or go down to the bottom to feed. They don't have any barnacles living on the right hand side of their rostrums or their heads. Um, so they're figuring that all of these gray whales are feeding on the right hand side of their mouths when they motion or yeah, when they motion their tail and drive their mouth and head into the sand and mud. Gotta back off here a bit. Right here, yeah, right here. Sorry, I would have been right on top of it if I didn't do that though.
That's the turn trend. side, they motion their tail, they drive them out into the sand and mud, move their jaws back and forth like this, squeezing the sand and mud out through the baleen, and hard harnessing the nutrients inside, and then squish between their tongue and the top of their mouth, and uh, then it's digested in the first four stomachs.
Okay, well, we're back to the other night here. This, uh, this one is the most frisky whale in the area right now. He, he bre this is the breacher. <laughs> uh, it's just right in the kelp right here. Oh, okay. You can see the bubbles coming up there. of it or in there somewhere, yeah. Sometimes they just rake their baleen along the kelp and get any larva that's attached itself to it. Back Thank here. You.
enough footage and pictures and things like that? Do you have enough pictures or not quite?